This is by far one of the ickiest, creepiest, cringiest family dynamics ever. Director Woody Allen, actress Mia Farrow. They were together for over a decade. Mia was a Nepo baby. Her dad was a director. Her mom was an actress. She married Frank Sinatra. She also married a director named Andrew Previn. Mia ended up having 14 children, 10 adopted, 4 biological. And everyone's like, oh my goodness, it's so great. But was it? Was it really great? I'm all about love and family and helping those in need and saving the world. But is this what this was? I don't know. That's the question I'm asking. Because apparently she was struggling financially as well. So it's like, what's going on, girl? What are you doing? Mia meets Woody Allen and they start working together and they never live together. She has her apartment. He has his apartment. Woody adopts some of the kids and together they adopt Dylan and they have a biological child named Ronan. Now Ronan, real name Satchel, can't stand his father. Hates his stinking guts. Okay. He's a journalist. Can't stand Woody. Then to throw some more dysfunction into the mix, people are like, hold up. This isn't Woody's son. He looks like Frank Sinatra. And his mom, Mia Farrow, she's like, hmm, maybe. Here's where the drama begins. Their daughter in the stroller, Dylan, accuses Woody of doing inappropriate things. Then do you see Soon Yi in the back? Soon Yi Previn? Mia and her then husband, Andre, had adopted Soon Yi from South Korea when she was around seven years old. They don't know her real age because she didn't have a birth certificate. When Woody began dating Mia, Soon Yi was 